Did you know that in Counter-Strike Source, the hostages hide a really small detail you probably have missed? On their shirts, they have the letters D and B. Hey, uh, sorry if the audio is a bit inconsistent, but I have to correct this. It's called DSB, not DNB. For some reason, I mistook it with, like, DNB. So yeah, sorry for that. It's DSB. But who is DNB, you may be asking? They must have been an important group or organization to warrant why the T's are constantly kidnapping them in maps, right? Well, we don't know much about DNB, or anything at all, really. All we could do is speculate, but I have a theory. I think the DNB group is a government-owned or funded company with the goal of developing top-secret weapons for the American government, since in CS Compound it stated that the hostages hold valuable information for America's TOP SECRET WEAPONS PROGRAM, which could explain why they are constantly being kidnapped. Like in Office, we can imagine that the T's attack this location due to DNB employees working there, or that in assault, the T's are smuggling out kidnapped DNB employees to their headquarters alongside their money. And in CS Italy, we could imagine that the T's kidnapped some DNB representatives who traveled to Italy to expand their business all around the world, since in real life, America has a few military bases in Italy. But, this is all speculative, since we don't know much about DNB, since they never appeared in another Counter-Strike game ever, even in CSGO. So yeah, we could only theorize about this DNB group. Which leads me to ask you, who do you think this DNB group is? Is it a government funded organization, or a generic no-name company that has no importance to the CS lore? I would love to hear your opinion. But yeah, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, consider smacking that subscribe button and liking this video. It would be much appreciated. But yeah, that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. See ya!